Here we go, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It's the video we have been waiting for for 18 months. It's true. Town Hall 15, of course. It is time to gem to max. So I hope you guys are as ready as I was for this. Are you ready for the video? Here we go. Okay, obviously, critically, first things first, please be subscribed to the channel. Turn on notifications. It helps out a great deal. It's only because you guys subscribe to the channel and you use code Galadon that videos like this are possible. So thank you so much, especially those of you that have been here over the years, because yes, it's been crazier and crazier every single update. And here we go. Code Galadon is active and we are going to start by buying some packages because, well, Town Hall 15, you know it's going to be crazy. We are, like I said, prepared. The treasury is full. We have all 5,000 raid medals and we have almost completely capped CWL medals at 2463. Not to mention the loot you see in the top right because I stayed in Legend League as long as I could and built that up with packages as well. So right away, we're going to Town Hall 15, and I gotta tell you, it was a pain to wait all day and do this in the live stream and not just go to Town Hall 15 immediately as soon as the update dropped. Wanted to be there, but there we are, and you would think, oh, you know, go put on the magic scenery. No, 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 no. As soon as we go to Town Hall 15, what is the absolute first thing we do? We go buy packages. That's right, we spend more money. Now, I'll talk a little bit about the gems and how we got those and the resources. Some of you have been watching the channel and you're familiar, but okay, let's get in and buy some packages so we can overfill our storages even more. And of course, pick up the brand new defenses. Like hopefully you saw in the what to upgrade first Town Hall 15 video I put out just a couple of days ago, top of the list, almost always going to be the new defenses, especially the monolith, come on, and the spell towers. I suspect they are going to be OP until players figure out how to counter them successfully. It's going to be crazy and always adding an element of surprise, especially, say, in Legend League, when you don't know what spell you're going to have to attack against, or spells plural. Okay, so yes, we're going to get both of the spell towers down, got the monolith down, and of course those will be amongst the first things that we max out as well. And there's also... Well, there's no room in the progress base. So this is my use code Galadon progress base, and I've sort of organized it into groups. The top left, you'll see, that's critical stuff I wanna get done first. Bottom right is the Dark Elixir Cellar. That is where I fear we're really going to run short this update, gemming to max. And that is the amount of Dark Elixir demanded by 20 levels of heroes and 40 levels of pets, not to mention the monolith which, by the way, of course, is the first defense ever to upgrade with Dark Elixir. So we figured the smart thing to do would be to use one of our hammers on it, right? We've got two hammers of building that are going to be available. So the first one went on the monolith. We're thinking not so much time because we have plenty of books, but we're thinking resources. Where can we save the maximum amount of resources that we will need later? And while yes, you may be screaming that obviously the walls are going to be the most demanding, I also, through the video you probably saw yesterday, 1.2 million gems to max, learned that pets are going to be insane. Insane in the amount of gems and dark elixir that they demand. So as always, we make sure we buy all of the packages that involve books, runes, or large amounts of resources. And notice that we've got now over 85,000 gold and elixir, over 1 million dark elixir. And the game even wonders if I'm serious about buying this much stuff. It's like, you better type confirm because you spending crazy right now, Galadon. So we did, we bought it, we've got it all, and now we're stacked to the max with the most magic items that we've ever had. And I actually now regret not at least taking a screenshot there when I was at my peak, because, okay, fine. Now I'm going to be at my peak because I bought these four books. I didn't even buy that last book of heroes offer yet. I'll probably buy that in the next couple of days. But, oh yeah, yeah, and then there's the sceneries. And yeah, a lot of people were a little bit disappointed by this. $47, right? $46.95 US if you wanted to pick up the epic magic scenery and all four of the brand new hero skins. Now, of course, this is painless to do in the developer build. Uh, over here in real life, 10 bucks a skin? Okay, we all realize that, of course, on this account, there is no choice. We must buy everything, gem everything. So we picked them up for the good of the fam. I, I, I don't know, for the good of something. 
Maybe I bought them so you don't have to. So you can take a look and say, yeah, you know, do you love them? Do you not? I think they go great with the new scenery. I'm a big fan. And again, that's why we do these episodes. So you guys can watch, but you don't necessarily have to. Maybe you can make discriminating choices amongst the things that you decide are important for you and your village. And that's the beauty of the game. Everybody can play the way they want. Now, things are going to be a little bit scatterbrained, a little bit haphazard as we go through the village. Now, you'll notice that I went straight to the pet house, which is upgraded, of course, with Elixir. And that's the thought was, let's get the pet house up. And then we're going to use the hammer on the final level of the pet house thinking that we're definitely running out of elixir before anything else. And we've got to do the Grand Warden as well. And then any extra elixir we could use on the walls. So we hammer the pet house. And again, please be patient with me. We won't always make the absolute best decision for what would have been the best economic choice. But, you know, again, this was an hour and a half that I spent doing this. And I just wanted to get it done. And it's sort of, in a lot of cases, like ripping off a Band-Aid, right? The faster you do it, the less it hurts. Sort of, kind of. Anyway, we're going to speed up some of the footage here as well. We're going to get through the storages because, of course, we have an insane amount of runes. And before we start spending any of those runes, we want to make sure that our storages hold the most possible. So that was definitely a key that we worked on. Got to make sure that those big mistakes are not made. And so we got the elixir done. Now we have to go get the gold done with elixir. And then once that's done, then we can completely go to town with all of the runes. Uh, but again, you'll notice that right here, what I'm trying to do, and this is a recurring theme throughout the whole gem to max process, is I'm trying to get the amount that I have in gold or in elixir down to zero or as close to zero as possible before I use a rune because obviously you're wasting whatever is still sitting in there. So we got the spell towers maxed out. We bought one in the package and then we maxed out the other one. Now we're working on the gold storages so that they can hold their max and then we can get to other more important things. But now see, we're already using elixir runes. So that's why we had those done first. Now we've got gold, lots of gold, lots of elixir and oh man. Okay, we have lots and lots of troops. Now we do have four hammers in here to use in the lab. So a hammer on the Electro Dragon, and that was a mistake. What we should have done was used both of the hammers of fighting on Dark Elixir troops, right? Because, yeah, that again, I think is going to be a big shortfall a little bit later. So we use the second hammer, 272,000 Dark Elixir on the Witches. Of course, yes, the maximum discount 20% gold pass has been applied this whole video. Don't worry. And then we went back over and worked on the workshop. Got the workshop and we're just starting to check the boxes over here. Then we're going to upgrade the spell factory, unlock that recall spell, get that done. And once again, notice we were at zero elixir. This isn't always going to happen, but because of this surplus, and yes, I did say surplus of gems that we have. I mean, 300,000 gems is a lot. The idea was let's spend a few gems on being short an upgrade rather than having it left over and having a rune be wasted in part. So like right here, 6.8 million elixir left. We use 6.4 on a wall, 400,000. Eh, I mean, it's a little bit of a waste, but that was our very first Town Hall 15 wall. So that was exciting. And now we are back up here working on the camps and it's really camp wall, camp wall, camp wall. And we are wasting 400,000 a shot. But the question is, what is worse? Wasting that few percentage points of elixir or burning gems this early, not knowing how many gems we need in order to max everything out. Now the beautiful Giga Inferno in that beautiful purple beam gets maxed out right there. So that looks good. Now another rune of gold. And we're just, again, going back and forth, kind of not in a specific order, but also at the same time, making sure we check all the boxes and get everything done before we move on. So the lab, okay, the lab has a long ways to go and we will fast forward through most of this, but you'll see I did think, yes, finally, to use both of the hammers on the Dark Elixir spells. So that helped out. And then we're back into a repeated process of use a rune and then make a troop upgrade and then make a wall upgrade and then go use a rune again. We also did start to spend a few league medals just to, again, try to round the numbers up. Notice we're at 6.312 and there we only spent 112 gems. 
to get another wall done and the also thought was let's plan ahead because we know walls are going to be crazy expensive we know the likelihood of me finishing all of the walls has been doubted by many uh, but we will see what happens okay don't give up yet don't give up hope or maybe you saw the Facebook live stream, right? Okay, here we go. So we've got the runes, we've got the troops, we got the Electro Titan done. We're gonna get the Miner done. That's exciting. I'm looking forward to attacking with Miners at Town Hall 15. Although I do understand that Town Hall 15 overall is going to be a lot more difficult. And uh, let's see here. Now this one, 1800 gems. Okay, I'm not quite ready to do that yet. So we wasted the Elixir instead because we know that an entire wall is over 2,000 gems to gem by itself if you were to gem the elixir or the gold for it. So yeah, I'm not prepared to do that yet. Let's wait a little while. Let's get back into the lab. And we had a ton of runes of elixir. So we're back and forth doing the spells, doing the troops, doing the siege machine until we are eventually going to have everything done. And I got to tell you, this was the first big let's go everybody. I'm feeling pumped up accomplishment of the gem to max. When we look at our profile, and every single troop, every single spell is fully maxed. And, and then we see the heroes and the hero pets. And we realize we've got our work cut out for us. Also, up on the top left was, uh, yeah, we have the mortars up here. So we had to do the mortars as well. Again, it's do a wall, do a mortar, do a rune, do a wall, do a mortar, do a rune. Repeat. And that pretty much works out pretty well. Again, wasting a little bit of gold. And if you add up all of the little tiny chunks of gold I wasted throughout this live stream, I'm sure it was a lot. But again, we tried to switch things up and we tried to find the combinations that worked out the closest to a rune. And what I mean is this basically came down to a game of math. Where can we find two upgrades that add up to 22 million? That is ideal. Or maybe like 22.4, 22.8, somewhere just above 22 million. So we can use a few gems to get it done. But for now, I feel like we have to go on and have this in a part two because there's just too much to cover. There's so much more to go, Galafam. Stay tuned, stay subscribed. We're back tomorrow with part two of Town Hall 15, Gem to Max and Clash of Clans. This has been Galadon. You have been my fellow fans. I can't wait to see you again tomorrow for more Gem to Max. Galadon, Jim the Walls. No way. Don't Jim the Walls. Galadon, Jim the Walls. No, maybe you shouldn't. Maybe you should. I don't know. <laughs>